Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? No, it's been a minute. So I've done a little upload, a little short Yoda story. So I'm going to give you guys one right before I go into work. We're going to keep this very simple. I'm just going to call it Yoda story. What you should not do. This is an example of one of the things you should not do. And it's a perfect example of everybody follow, but follow it after I did what I did, you know? So, this begins with the day I got my first check from the job. Alright, so, I did this, you know, before I left, asked about the check, saw her a couple minutes early, yada, yada, yada. She gave me the check. Now, I had asked this beforehand. And her answer to me, you know, her being my lead was, you know, it should both come together in a bundle. Like, I should get both of the checks in one envelope. So I bet. So I'm hyped. Go home. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. I opened the envelope. Guess what? It was one check for orientation. No check for what I had gotten paid for the previous two weeks. And I thought, okay, maybe did I drop it? The other check? Was it like attached right behind it? I did not notice it or something. I was thinking I dropped it or whatever, you know, but now what I had done was figure out it was supposed to come in two checks because I saw, I saw two pay slips. One for orientation and one for what I worked. And I only got the orientation one. Like $65? That's not what I paid work for these last two weeks. Yeah, I was flipping out. I think anybody would have been fucking flipping out. Same way. But I'm going to take this mask off because this shit is suffocating me. I got to wear it at work, but at least at work, I could take it off every once in a while. Nobody's saying shit. This shit really does suffocate you. Um... So I called HR department, people in charge of like payments and everything. And I called them. I called the main thing and I asked them, yeah, I have worked this day and also the two weeks after that. This is the third week, so I should be getting paid for orientation and what I got paid for the last two weeks. And I only got what I got paid for in orientation. I didn't get what the check that I was supposed to get for the last two weeks. So I, I basically called and I was like, is there another check there for me? Can you guys check? And they were like, yes, two checks were sent. So I was supposed to get handed two envelopes. Never happened. That's what really got me tight. So I had to walk back over here, wait a few minutes. I got my check. Then, on top of that, I had to go to the bank. I was switching everything to um, Google AdSense, YouTube Payments, and for my job, where everything's going to go. I have a savings account with them. I just didn't have a checking account. So I thought I wouldn't go through the issues I, w I am going through with my current bank. That I'm just like, fuck them. You know, I'm going to go start brand new somewhere else. I earned all that money, so I'm not trying to lose out on money that it's rightfully mine. They could go fuck themselves. But anyways, back to the story. Right when I got to the bank, that I was going to open up a new checking account at. You want to know what happened there? Simple as this. I had to... Uh, what you gonna call it? I had to wait 25 minutes just to see somebody there. Maybe 30 minutes. And then getting it open and all that. Another half hour almost. You know? We'll, we'll you know, we'll just see like there was nobody there. The shit you gotta deal with in a bank or somewhere else you go, they're short on staff because of COVID restrictions, everything. Yeah. That happened. It sucks to have it happen at a bank. It was like five people waiting for like 20 minutes before I got seen. I was like, what the fuck? Everybody's behind me like, sheesh. Got that taken care of. Then I had what I had gotten paid split into my savings and my checking. So they both have around the same amount. It's kind of limiting myself on what to, what I could use. But I'll, I'll let it be for this check. The following other checks, 
more than half of my checks are going straight to my um, my checking and taking out a little bit less for saving every, every check, you know. Got to save up for plants in the future. You already know. I've been making big moves in the year. Uh, but yeah, I had to take out what I needed. It gives by a little sign, sign. Let's just call it that. No need to specify on it. And that's my story. It just sucked. And that was a total of me traveling for three hours. On my feet. On my feet. Half hour to get to my job. Almost another half hour, a little longer to get to the bank. Waiting at the bank for a half hour. Then going to the ATM, taking out what I needed. Um, and activating the card. I had to stop at the bank to activate it. So that's what I did. Um, and on top of all that, just going home after that. Total of two hours, a little more. Traveling because of that. It sucked. Got home at... <laughs> It's gonna be a laugh. I got home at like two something, three o'clock. Almost in the afternoon. And I got out of work at six in the morning, guys. I had to wait till somebody was at work for me to go get my check. Crazy story, right? Crazy story. I went through it. Moral of the story is make sure you have your direct deposit information and everything. You're ready for that day. You don't wanna have to go through that hassle like I did. I'm pretty sure nobody would. But yeah, much love to you all. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out off Thursday, so expect the stream on Thursday. Um, not working at all, so I'm probably gonna do an early morning stream, crash, and um, then bring everybody what they voted for that night when I get up and I'm ready for it. Resident Evil 8, the village hardcore. I'm gonna finish that shit on hardcore. So let's go, people, because that shit's about to happen. Much love. Stay up, everybody. Stay safe. Have a great night. And great day, wherever you guys are at. Deuces.